but we all know how popular the <laughs> Harry Potter franchise is. You've probably checked out the attractions at Universal, record-breaking books and movies, and endless amounts of merchandise, and did you know, a real-life sport. Uh -huh. Yes, I know. Okay, we're talking about Quidditch, the game where they fly on brooms, catch balls in the air in the series, and is played on a field right here in Central Florida. And they're not flying, actually. They're, they're not flying, but they, they like to think they are. Yes. They're called the Nearly Headless Knights. News 6 at <laughs> Nights. Carolina Cardona joins us now with more about this. You talked to some team members, and they are very big fans of Harry Potter, obviously. Yeah, that's right. Well, for the most part, the players are Harry Potter fans, but it's also a game where anyone can basically join. I do confess it's a sport that is new to me, so I had never heard about it. Sorry, Harry Potter fans. I think I've only seen one of the eight movies, but it was interesting to learn about a game that went from the movie screens and onto fields around the world. It's a game where players use a broomstick in the fictional Harry Potter books by J.K. Rowling, Quidditch. Players earn points by throwing a volleyball through one of three hoops without getting hit by a dodgeball or tackled. They also have to catch an opponent player called the Snitch. In the movie, it's a flying golden ball. In real life... The Snitch is not an actual ball that flies around. It's a person wearing snitch shorts. It's like a flag football aspect. You have to catch the tail. After 17 minutes, the snitch is released, and the snitch is usually like a big wrestler type person. Each team has one seeker who are going to attempt to catch the snitch, and the wrestler will like throw them to the ground. The University of Central Florida is one of dozens of schools around the country that has a team. But instead of using brooms, they hold on to PVC pipes. UCF has competed at both regional and national levels. They recently played against members of Orlando Pride. So why has it become so popular? It's one of the only co-ed sports, first of all, so that piques an interest. As well as it just has so many different elements to it, so much going on at once. It's so unique that there's three different games going on at once. You have beaters throwing dodgeballs, you have chasers trying to score, you have the snitch on pitch gameplay going on. In order to make it easier for the players, some rules were modified by the United States Quidditch Association. We all go by their rules. For instance, like one of the main things is, is that beaters from the Harry Potter books, they use a bat. We do not use a bat. Once the snitch is caught, the team wins 30 points and game over. It's so popular that countries like the U.S., Canada, Germany, Belgium and Britain have leagues of their own. Now over 26 countries play the sport. Some teams are still in the process of creating their own governing bodies. The International Quidditch Association was founded in Middlebury College in Vermont 12 years ago. It's a unique game that has a 150 page rule book. Ever hmm. since the sport was introduced, gender equality is an important requirement. A Quidditch game allows each team to have a maximum of four players, not including the seeker who identify as the same gender in active play on the field at the same time. 150 pages of rules, huh? That's a lot of rules. <laughs> that is a lot one, to one of the with. rules actually is that the broomstick that they use, um, they can't let it go. It can't fall um, out from in between their legs. So Otherwise. it's not attached to them? I thought it was like no, attached they, on their pants. They, so they hold on to the stick okay. and with the other hand they have to catch the oh ball. Goodness. Yes. It's it's a lot. Wow. <laughs> it's so, still exercise at the end of the day. Oh, oh yes. So that gets you moving, whatever works. How can we join? Well, they're Tell actually, <laughs> tonight, if anybody is interested, tonight is their first official practice over at um, the University of Central Florida. So if anybody wants to go yeah. check it out, they also have a Facebook page. So, you know, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a unique game. You need yes, to be a student is. to be on that particular <laughs> team, though, right? I'm sorry? You need to be a student to be on that particular team. A UCF student or no? No, I don't think so. No. Okay. no. Awesome. I, I, you know what? I'll get back to you on that. Okay. <laughs>